insulin, the health risks posed by eating too much sugar are well known, but a new report is highlighting the dangers of hidden sugar in packaged foods. The Lancet Medical Journal says that nearly three quarters of packaged food and drinks in the US contain added sweeteners. The report authors know that these are from hundreds of different forms of sugar, all of which can have the same negative health effects. They also say that sugar consumption is rising fastest in low and middle income countries in Africa, Asia, Latin America and the Caribbean. Well, for more on the warnings about sugar in our diet, I'm joined by Kortha Hashem. She's a nutritionist with an organisation called Action on Sugar. Uh, thanks for coming in. So, um, sugar is obviously the, the bad guy these days anyway, but um, in, in this instance it's the hidden sugar. So tell us what that means exactly. Well, I think people generally describe hidden sugars are those products that are not very clearly labelled in terms of the amount of sugar. But also there are artificial sweeteners that are added, and so people, they are categorised as sweeteners, but people usually don't, it wouldn't be on the front of a pack or the back of a pack. And so in terms of the, sh the sugars that are in there, is the fact that, uh, is it harmful because they do something to your system that is worse than, than just kind of eating too much, is that the idea? Well, eating too much is a factor, but also we have revised recommendations that they should only contribute to 5% of your, of your energy intake. And what that means is only 25 grams, that's translated into 6 to 7 teaspoons for an adult, which is a very small amount if you can take into context that, you know, a can of cola could contain up to 9 teaspoons of sugar. So, in that terms, we are eating too much. Recommendations are advising us to eat much, much less, and they are contributing to weight gain, type 2 diabetes, and tooth decay. And, and with things like kind of you know packaged foods, is it people finding that actually there's there's sort of sugar type formulations in things like bread where they don't expect it to be there? And, and what sort of thing can people do to kind of keep on the lookout for, for, for hidden sugar? Our advice generally is to try and read the label as much as possible. Um, for example, in the UK we have front of pack labelling where you'll have a red traffic light for sugars, and so it will be red. That kind of indicates that it's quite high. Um, but as much as possible, try to limit it and to, you know, look at the grounds on the back of the pack. It's not easy, but we have to try and do it. Uh, and what about uh, what governments can do? I mean, they, they seem to have uh, steered away in many areas from a, from a so-called sugar tax. Do you think that's still something that's going to come back, or do you think that's kind of dead in the water now? I think it's coming back. There's a lot of momentum in the UK um, and in other countries, and it's been shown to affect people as in, in terms of reducing their intake of, of sugar-sweetened drinks. So it's having a positive effect. The evidence is quite strong, so we definitely think that all governments should consider it. And what about kind of globally? I mean, we, we saw that in the Lancet it's kind of other countries, aside from sort of more developed countries, that seem to be heading down this path towards adding sugar into everything. How, d how dangerous 